Welcome back. I wanted to share another counterclockwise moment with you. This time it's when one of the main characters is enjoying a glass of Louis Trey Cognac. Now the thing to understand about Louis Trey Cognac is that it's one of the finest on the planet. Um, it takes a hundred years for it to get to the person who tastes it. So the man who makes it, or the woman, will never taste the fruits of their labor. It will be a hundred years before that is tasted. And so it's a very special moment with somebody who knows what they're tasting. And in chapter 10, in the subsection Black Magic, uh, there is a moment when Kurt Hoffman is enjoying it. I'd like to share that with you just now. Hoffman sat at a small table in the far back corner of the grill. It was next to the last floor to ceiling window pane overlooking Buffalo Bayou. The tablecloth was white and pressed, and it matched his double-breasted dinner jacket. On the table was a small chessboard. Hoffman pondered over the pieces as he poured Louis Trey, cognac from its Baccarat crystal decanter, into a small aperitif glass. He usually reserved cognac for after dinner, but tonight he was in a good mood and felt like treating himself. Besides, Louis Trey is best served earlier rather than later. He let it rest in the glass, admiring the copper color and taking in the gentle fragrance influenced by the ancient casks in which it was aged. Hoffman sipped the century-old treasure, relishing refined, nectar-rich opulence, like drinking liquid silk. I hope you enjoyed that moment, and thank you for joining me.